Cherry is not only known for beautiful keyboards and mice, they're also producing now microphones and this USB microphone called Cherry UM90 Pro is going to be review here. We're going to test it with our laptop, Mac, smartphones. We're going to test the pop filter, also the microphone angle. Let's get started. I'm talking to my camera. The microphone is from Rode. It's a video mic generation 2 and now we're going to switch. Now I'm talking to the Cherry UM9 and first when you start a recording always make sure to control the gain. So here I'm currently at a level of 12 o'clock. Let me also move it to 3 o'clock and then you can hear how the gain is increasing but it would be definitely too much gain if I would go directly to the maximum. This would be the maximum gain I would have right now. So let's move it back to let's say two o'clock. This should be good. Here's the Cherry Mice wheel. That's one you can control the volume. It's very nice because here you can plug in your earphones and then you can control the quality of your own voice, but also listen to the other people in your call and in your stream. Now I'm talking directly here into the microphone. Let's move it a little bit around and walk and talk to different angles and also going into this position. Now I'm talking at this point into the microphone. Okay, now let's start and compare the Cherry microphone with others on the market. Here is a USB microphone from Epos. It's called B20 and that's how it sounds. I'm talking directly now into the Epos B20. One of the main differences here that you can add more configurations using the Epos app you can get your warmer voice, a brighter voice. There's a noise fencing background reduction, equalizer, so more ways to tune your voice. The Cherry is redesigned to make it the most easiest, the easiest microphone, as you can imagine, without any kind of software needed. Now I'm talking directly into the Biodynamic Fox, also a USB microphone which can be compared here to the Cherry because there is no software added. Now I'm talking to the Logitech Blue Zona microphone, which is a condenser microphone, and it is a XLR microphone. So not a USB microphone. You need an additional digital audio converter, a DAC. I'm currently here using a Focusrite Scarlett and also a Focusrite um, Vocaster One. So it's a different kind of microphone approach. And now we're talking directly into the iconic, epic Joe SM7B which is also an XLR microphone. You need additional interface like the Focusrite I just mentioned. And you also need a preamp. So it's not only the audio interface preamp. So compared to a um, Cherry microphone, you would pay minimum 250 more, including these two options. This here, the microphone arm, which I'm using for the Logic Blue Zona and for the Jo SM7B, a different approach. It, they look different bit more light here compared to the cherry option. Um, maybe a bit more flexible. You also have some some screws here to, to change everything. So, But the biggest benefit here for the cherry option is you have also the, the USB-A port and you can directly connect it to USB-C. That's completely impossible. So these kind of microphones arms, which are usually a bit cheaper, I buy them between 30 and 40 euros and they only work with XLR. So even if you, if you like this approach and you like the, the, the price tag, no way, I can definitely recommend the Cherry option because you need this cable management for USB-C and USB-A. Cherry provides a bunch of different cables here for this microphone. Um, so not only the USB-A to USB-C, also to different other uh, usb cables and you can also use it not only for the um9 also for the um3 and um6 so you're flexible it's a very versatile solution i don't know if you've been to the situation when you had to cough in your 
meeting, webinar, and you need to the mute button immediately. Of course, there are mute buttons in Zoom and Teams or wherever, but it's so hand, so easy to just push. And you also see, as you just seen, it's going to be red when you mute. So just tick and then the color changes and you're back unmuted. Couldn't be easier. Let there be light. You're able to add some preferred colors here to your lightning. So this is something which I've chosen now, but there are other ways of the lights. You can just choose everything using the button here. You've got different light things, blue, purple, pink. I'm not so good in colors. I just saw the basic ones. This is my, maybe a magenta style green. So you can choose between different gradients and you can choose something vibrant, dazzling, or just make sure that it fits to your mood, just fits to your voice or fits to your background or to your lighting or whatever. Also for different polar microphone patterns included here for versatility, I'm currently using the cardioid pattern, which means I'm talking directly in front of the microphone. And that's the one you might use most often because you are having just a webinar of podcast in your home office situation. And the benefit is here, everything which is in this area is going to be reduced. So if there is noise here, it's, got, it's not going to be picked up as much as in the front, but the microphone is not designed for pure 100% hardcore background noise reduction. Cherry also promised that this microphone can be used for ASMR, whispers, cracking, rustling. That's a big thing. Everybody wants to go and listen to ASMR recordings to get really goosebumps and, and feeling here around the neck. Let's see how this microphone works in ASMR context. First, I'm going to increase the gain to the maximum. Are you already hungry? If you're into walnuts. Now we're testing a different microphone polar pattern. This is the bi-directional pattern where I'm talking into the microphone. And Joel, a podcaster from How to Fail While Startup podcast, is talking into the other direction of the microphone. Joel, look, how could you use this cherry microphone in your daily life as a podcaster? So microphones, of course, as a podcaster are a crucial part of the business. I tested this cherry microphone in my last episode where I was traveling and it worked great. So of course it's a USB microphone and therefore much easier than traveling with a complex interface setup. I just need a laptop with USB and can plug it in. I am using now headphones because it's also important to check my quality because if a podcast episode is recorded, I can't recover it if the microphone was too high gained. It looks great. It's not too bulky. It's Build robust, which is also important for traveling. I can mute it very easy just by tapping here. I can demonstrate it. And I can have it in my own podcast colors, which is also nice if I want to do a video. Overall, a great recommendation. My last and final test, I'm going to use my smartphone here, which is connected with USB-C to USB-C to my cherry microphone. And I'm using here the plop filter for the plosives, like please bring pizza, to Prianto Pronto. And please share with me in the comments if you're convinced about the quality of the pop, plop filter. I always say pop, plop filter. And also how you like this video. And thanks for watching.